Take a poke at the big beeper. Yeah, I know. You're always starting something you can't finish. Well, he said that you wasn't so much of much of a rider. Of course, I couldn't stand for that. Well, no. I should say not. Of course not. Now come on, let's get out of here. Ooh, you're gonna get us killed sometime. Come on. Well, I you can't blame you for that. He Rod. started picking on me, Rod. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. Fight, well, all howdy, the time. boys. Howdy. It was a great fight you put up. Kind of lively while it lasted, wasn't it? You live here? No, we just finished Roundup over here at El Centro Rancho. You ever think of drifting Steep Gulch Way? No, I hadn't given any thought. Well, I'm not trying to persuade you any, but the ranchers at Steep Gulch are awful appreciative of talent. Hmm, meaning just what? Seventy-five a month for cowpunchers that's scrapping enough and smart enough to handle the cattle rustlers. I think you boys uh, fill the bill if you can think as well as you can fight. Well, uh, you know, stranger, the doctors claim that it's the heft of my brain that stunted my growth. Steep Gulch, huh? Ain't that where Judge Wilson lives? Why, well, he did live there, but he's been dead for months. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. Uh, how's his daughter? You mean Miss Dale? Yes. She still lives there, trying to keep her brother straight. You know her? Yes, yeah, she presented the prize that we won at the last rodeo. I wonder if that gal still remembers me. Uh, I mean us. So they ain't any gal got anything to do with this. We're going down there prospecting for business. But uh, Rod, you know, petticoats don't cut much ice with me. I was just wondering, but not caring much. Oh, no. When you get to Steep Gulch, watch your horses. They have a great habit of stealing them right out from under you. Hmm. Hey, horse thieves is my meat, stranger. Well, boys, I'll see you later. So long. Goodbye. Come on, let's go. All right, Rod. What do you think of their horses, Mace? I kind of fancy that white one. Yeah. Partner, we'll come right down and give you a hand. Come on, that fellow's hurt, boys. All right. Oh, boy, oh. I wonder how the fool got down here. I wonder myself. Hey, where are you, partner? Come on, boys. Come on. Hey, listen. What do you suppose that means? fine mess we're in now. Hmm. Well, anyhow, I don't guess any ranchers are going to pay us misfits any $75 a month when they see us hoofing it into town. No. Well, come on, let's get moping along. Come on, it's all over. Since yesterday. Oh. Was anything wrong? 
No. Only, I wish you'd tell him I'm looking for him if you do see him. Why, sure, Miss Dale. Anything to oblige you. Thanks. Hit me once. Hey, kid, your sister's outside looking for you. You didn't tell her I was in here, did you? Why, no. I told her I hadn't seen you since yesterday. That's good. Come here, you. You're about to be introduced to your new boy. Right here, Ray. Get on him, boy. Here. Ray, back here. Bring that stick, I devil in here. All right, here. Point him right now. Get him in. Get him around here. Take it easy now, mate. Right here, mate. Hey, one of my time, mate. Come on, little I got him. Come on, there, mate. Stay with him. Look out. Look out there. He's going to get me. Hold him. Hold him. Hey, man. Are you hurt, mate? No. But I'll hurt that devil. Hold him, man. Get up there. Get up there. Look out. Look out for him. Get him in there. Get him in there. You wall-eyed snake. Tie him up. I'll learn him something. This is going to be good. You buck me off, will you? Well, I'll learn you who's the boss around this camp. That. Head back there. Get it back. I don't like it, huh? Well, I do. Get him. Get him back there. Get him. Hey, boy. Where? Did he get away? Did he get away? I see he did. The way he sneaked across the country, you'll never see that horse again. Well, if I ever do see him again, I'll put a slug in him. Especially after a while. He can't get long enough to strike. For the love of Pete, Rod, there ain't no hurry. Have a heart, will you? My feet's all blistered now. I reckon them brains of yours are too hefty for your feet. Huh? <laughs> you suppose I like it? I don't know. Well, well, come, come on. on. we got to get going. All it's right. getting late. Now, come on. Who's so much arguing? Come on, oh, please. Right. Be careful of the feet. Having kind of tough luck, aren't you, kid? Same as usual. <laughs> well, they won't run that way all the time. Boys, just, just excuse me for a minute, will you? Don't anybody touch these checks. Say, if that number's not the big stuff, we'll never have no money, will we? Don't do it so bad. How good are the kids and how you'll use? Let him go the limit. Me and Mace is counting him in on all our deals now. <laughs> but he's not to know that I'm mixed up in it yet. He's to think it's only Mace. I say. Well, I'm about even, though. All right, boys, get the bets down. Keep your eye on things. I'm going over and see what luck the supervisors are having picking a new sheriff. All right, boss. 
You better have another stack, kid. I can't afford it. Oh, you're good for it. Come on. State your wishes, stranger. Well, first off, I'd like to have a chin with your sheriff. We're going to find him. According to the latest report, there ain't no sheriff. There ain't no sheriff? What do you mean? No, nope. last one passed on with a load of buckshot. And the six previous went the same way. Everybody left's too polite to crowd the graveyard any more than it already is. What you gonna do when your horse gets stolen? Well, it's common first right here to steal another one to take its place. Board of Supervisors has been meeting all day, trying to find somebody to fill that sheriff's office. But it ain't likely they found anyone to do it yet. No? They're meeting down the street there in the sheriff's office. A few fellas is interested. I allow maybe we are interested. Let's go look them up, boys. Well, uh, after that long walk, ain't a fella entitled to just one drink, Rod? We got a lot of business to do. Oh. Let's wipe off that look and let's get going. Do that later. Come on. Not a bad man, this town. That looks like the place, huh? Yeah. Let's have at it. All right. Here, well, oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. Where, yeah. where have you been all that time, you devil? How'd you get loose? I wonder where my horse is. Oh, I oh, ain't got to see you, honey. I'm tired and all that. Say, wait a minute. What's the matter? What's the matter? Hey. What's the trouble? Look honey? here, Rod. What's that? Look. Why, oh, there's welts all over him. Somebody's been whaling the daylights out of him. The dirty skunks. You fellas still looking for a fight? Well, after that, we're naturally itching for it. You bet your life. Come on with me. Come on, right. boy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Seems to me you supervisors ain't much good if you can't keep us in sheriffs. Well, what are we going to do when the supply runs out? Yeah. Uh, unless maybe you want the job. Well, uh... I'd take it if it wasn't for the wife and kids. Well, you can't blame nobody for not wanting to stop lead. Howdy. All right. Are you the new supervisor? Well, some of us is. I'm chairman. Well, we heard you the shy towns around here didn't have any more sense than to be sure. Is that right? Well, uh, plumb shy on candidates, if that's what you mean. Well, we're plumb shy on brains and just foolish enough to volunteer for the job. Which one of you? Well, uh, all three of us. Uh, we want to take it in partnership. <laughs> hey, that don't sound just according to Hoyle. You know, Supervisor, three sheriffs is, is better than no sheriff at all now, ain't they? Well, <clears throat> that sounds reasonable. And, besi and besides, they all last three times as long. Unless somebody takes a pot shot, the whole flock of us. <laughs> Say, uh... What are your qualifications, if uh, any? I guess we're going to be shy of qualifications, seeing as how we let a bunch of hombres steal our horses right out from under our noses. At point of gun? No, nah, a lot worse than that. They just took advantage of our feeble mindness. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> well, I reckon you can't be too choosy about our references. You better take what you can get. Yeah. <clears throat> Raise your right hand. Now I'll get myself a drink. Wait a minute. You can't have any drink. You're a sheriff now. You gotta uphold the morals of the community. He just don't know nothing. Yeah, oh. just wipe that drink idea right off the chin. Here. Just play like you had one. Well, here we go, boys. Get your money up. All right, around and around. Wait a minute. I want to cut them cards. Well, you did cut them. I know, but you put them back like they were. Do you mean to say that I'm crooked? I don't know. Maybe it was an accident. Uh, keep your shirt on. Wait a minute. I said I wanted to cut them, Todd. Oh, get the show. Oh, you. Imagine a punk like that. <laughs> Why, you. Up there. Come on. 
Let's take like a little walk, all of you. Get up, you. Come on. Keep cool. Get up. Come on. Make way for Make way I got him coming, Rod. Bring him on. Go on. Maybe that'll give you boys a chance to sober up and cool off a little. Come on, boys. Well, that's the first batch, boys. Things threaten to be pretty exciting after all. Good to do. You know, I'd sure like to know which one of them hombres hit me in the jaw. If they did, what would you do? Why, I'd... Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if what you didn't do it. Me? Why, Rod, you know I wouldn't hit a pal. No, of course not. Hello, boys. Well, hello, Sheriff. Hello. I'm terribly sorry about this rumpus. You own that saloon, don't you? Yeah. That's what I come over here to explain. Now, those boys just got into a friendly argument, and seeing that nobody was hurt, well, there's no harm in turning them loose. We're not turning anybody loose on your say-so. Besides, you ought to be thrown in jail yourself for running such a joint. Now, can I help it if they pick on my place to settle their arguments? No. But you can keep kids like that from gambling in your place. That's what makes bank robbers and horse thieves and the like. Well, if you're so smart, you won't start in on this job by bucking me. You'll get wise to yourself when you learn who I am. Now, maybe I won't have to learn. I was hatched and raised over on the old Santa Fe Trail. Besides, <laughs> while I was fool enough to take a job sheriffing around these parts, might be crazy enough not to care who he bucked. <laughs> Well, I see. Yeah. Well, sure. If you understand, of course. I don't want to start no argument with you boys. Now, if there's anything I can do to help you, why, just let me know. Thanks. Who's he? I don't know. I was just bluffing. You know, most of these crooks have, uh, sometime or other, had their school along that Santa Fe Trail. I just want to see if I could worry. <laughs> and it worked, too, didn't it? He <laughs> sure changed his tune when you sprung that. Sure. Yeah, he did it. He's trying to be the old he coon around here, and I want to stop him. <laughs> well, you sure stopped him, Rod. Let's get ready to lock this place right, up. Right. Huh? Boys, now I'd like to have you meet Miss Wilson. But I don't guarantee to get all your names straight. <laughs> Why, we've met Miss Wilson before. At the state fair. Miss Wilson presented the trophies that we won there. You remember Miss Wilson, boys? Yes, yes sir. You know her. Sure. Why, of course. I remember you now. Well, that's fine that you're all acquainted, but, uh, Sheriff, the young man that you just jailed was Miss Wilson's brother. That's why she came up here to see you. Brother? Well, we, we didn't know that. Well, as nobody was hurt in the little argument that you interrupted, I guess there's no harm if you just turn everybody loose. What do you think about it, Sheriff? Well, we haven't preferred any regular charges yet or anything Please, like that. Rod isn't really bad. Well, that's just the way I was figured. And you, you let him go? Well, Mom, we was just going to lock him up for overnight anyhow till they cool off. Next morning, going to give him a little lecture and turn him loose. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Good night, boy. Good night, nice. Good night, boy. Good night. Sure, you think they're boobs. So did I, when I helped to make them peace officers. <laughs> Say, you ain't getting all bothered just because he took a few of your customers off to jail, are you? Oh, it ain't that. But the big hombre thinks he's got something on me. Yeah? What? I don't know. And I didn't feel like arguing the matter. It's something about... What happened up north before I drifted down here? Ah, forget it. He might be just a guesser. Well, anyway, I ain't taking no chances. I'm fixing it so that he finds them horses that were stolen. Now, ain't that nice. And when he goes looking for them, you're going to fix it so that he don't come back. Well, that ought to be easy. Say. You ain't cutting that Wilson kid in on this, are you? No. Why? I don't like that yellow streak that's in him. That's what makes him easy to handle. Maybe. Unless he starts belching up his innards to that sheriff and outfit. 
Say, why are you so anxious to cut this kid in on everything? Do you remember Buck Cunningham that was sent off to prison? Yeah. Well, he died before his time was up, didn't he? Yeah. A good long while before. Twenty years, to be exact. And do you remember who it was that plastered him with a 25-year stretch? Well, old Judge Wilson. The kid's father. Exactly. Well, Buck Cunningham was my brother. He was? Yes. And if old Judge Wilson is up there someplace sprouting wings and watching over his son, he's going to see me send that kid along the same sort of a trail that he sent my brother on. Well, that's all right. Unless we all take the same trail along with him. Don't you be scared. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I hope you're right. Good morning. Good morning. You're the new sheriff, ain't you? Yes, ma'am. They claim you're the finest police officer we've ever had. Well, so that's what they're saying about me, huh? Yes, indeed. In fact, some people is allowing already that your funeral should be the biggest blowout the Steve Gulch has ever had. My funeral? Yeah, when it comes along. Oh. But believe me, that'll have to go some. Well, we sent away for a brass band when we planted our last sheriff. Y you did? Sure. And then we had them stay over Saturday night and play for the dance. Well, personally, I don't care for brass bands. And besides, I don't know how to dance. Oh, Sam. Yeah? Here's $30,000. The Denver Cattle Association wanted to parcel it to their credit. Who fetched it? Just came by express. They want it on hand for their buyer. He'll be in town in a couple of days. Well, I'll take care of it. All right, Sam. Oh, hello, Ramrod. Hey, going someplace? Oh, no, just looking around, trying to find myself a new horse. You don't have to spruce up for a horse, do you? Well, uh, no, Ramrod, but uh, I figure the way a new horse behaves for a man depends on the impression the man makes on the horse. Oh. Find that horse yet? Horse? Oh! Oh, no, I couldn't find nothing to suit. Well, keep on looking. Now, listen, Ramrod, you may be big, but someday on, size don't. ain't gonna cut no cow. Don't off. follow me, son. I'm not following you. I was here first. I don't take no back talk from a weasel. Uh, I want. Go on. Ah. Uh. Then sit out here. It's much cooler. Thanks. Who's that there? Mm hmm. You see, miss, most young fellows has an urge to sow some wild oats. Guess your brother isn't any worse than the average. Oh, I know he isn't. Only it's the company he's fallen into. Yeah, I reckon so, miss. If you'd like me to, I'll kind of keep an eye on him. and take him under my wing from now on. Oh, would you do that? Sure would. And I guess, I guess between the two of us, we can bring him out of it all right, don't you think? Oh, I'm sure we will. And he'll listen to you. You ought to take us with you. You sure order. Listen, I'm just going to do a little scouting around, boys. If I get them located, I'll come back for you, though. I'll be needing you then. Don't worry about it. Listen, partner. Now, you see, I turn off the right on this first trail leading north, huh? Yeah. Just like the map, you say. 
I see. Now, uh, bueno. All right, so long, boys. So long, so long. Bob. Hey, come back here. I dare you to do that again. Hold <laughs> that. Hey, Mace. That fella, he come up the trail now. Oh, yeah? Come on, boy. Hey, Jack. Come on, get your guys up. Fellas, wait till he gets right below us. Then let him have it. Hey, Hafferon. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether we ought to have followed him when he told us we shouldn't. Oh, well, he'll never know anything about it unless something does happen that he needs us. What's the matter, boy? Come on. Here, what's the matter with you? Give me that rifle. I'll take a shot at him before he gets away. I'll bet he's in trouble now. I told you we should have followed him. Well, let's follow him. Come on. Get your horses. Let's follow him. Wait a minute. Coming back to get the fellow we plugged. Oh, that again. Shoulder. Hey, pick up his horse and get under cover. Quick. Uh, Wait a minute, boss. Get in the way. Get your horses.
Hey, go on. boy. Come on. Oh, oh. Don't see him anywhere, do you? I don't see hard nor hair of him. Well, we got to pick up his trail. The Rams is going to think we're a fan, bunch of boobs. Come on, let's go. Now the cashier's coming back to the bank tonight. He'll leave the door unlocked. So all we've got to do is go in there and put the guns on him and make it look regular, see? You sure we aren't taking any chances? Ah, of course not. Come on out the bar and get something to fortify your innards. Come on. that special bottle, will you? All right, mate. Here you go. <laughs> well, here's looking at you. All right. Hello, bud. Gee, I'm sorry, bud. I didn't mean to do that. That looks like you wasn't meant to have a drink. Oh, that's all. But I thought you were going to start putting up your hay today. Oh, I was, but but my shoulder went lame on me. Is that so? Yes, sir. Too bad. I've got a fine remedy for that shoulder. I know just the thing. You come along with me. Hey, just a minute. He's with me, and I'm buying. Yeah? Well, what you're buying is not so good for that lame shoulder. i got a better remedy. Come along, bud. Wait a minute, Mace. None of that. Why, well, he can't get away with that stuff with me. Uh, you leave this to me. I've got a better plan. Now, right here, kid. I want you to stay out of there and quit your gambling and drinking. I won't ever catch you in there again. If I do, I'm going to take you to an awful trimming. You understand? Well, I know you're right, Rod. Hey, Rod. Rod. All ready to go. All right. I say, I think we better take a look at half a rod before we go. Yeah, that's right. So? Sure. Say, oh. I wonder who John's got to look after. Him. I don't know. I guess they're all right, though. That's one of the reasons I want to take a look at. There. Is that more comfortable? Yeah. You know, Miss. I ain't had a woman care for me like this since my ma died. There, there. Now you'll feel better in a little while. When I was first off my feet, why, she used to raise my head and fix my pillow just like you're doing. And, and then she'd touch her lips to my cheeks and somehow I'd feel heaps better right off. Why, the ornery little cuss. And all the breaks. What are you worried about? I suppose you go out and get shot now. He's entitled to it. He's hurt, ain't he? I never get no good-looking gal like that to look after me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, get him out of the
Get out of the way. Let me look. Hey, come on, I'm on. got what was coming to him, Ramrod. You bet. Well, we're going trailing now, ain't we? No use us going out here in the hills with the man we're after. Oh, you think this is the fellow? Well, I don't know, Ramrod. As far as you know, the usual thing is downright gentle. I figure he'd feel different if the cuss had given him a beating, though. Yeah. So I think we'll just stick around town here. Not too prominent, you know. Keep an eye on this bird. We just messed up. All right, Rod. Come on. Come on, boy. Here. Come on. He's just dozed off. How's he feel, miss? He's getting along fine. Gee, that's great. See, I sure want to thank you the way you've been taking care of him. It's mighty fine of you. Well, I'm only too glad to do something to help repay you for looking after Bud. Oh, shucks, miss. There ain't nothing you got to repay me for. Only, only, well, I wish you'd keep on taking care of him just the way you have been. It's doing him a lot of good. You know, uh, of course, he's a right peculiar little cuss, but only at first. As soon as you know him, you're going to like him a lot. Oh, I like him already. You do? Uh-huh. That's fine. Only, I'm just wondering, if he proposed to me, I suppose I should say yes. You know, to keep him from having a relapse. Well, of course. That would be mighty considerate of you. Even if I like somebody else better? Well, of course, that would be a lot different. There's one thing I can say for him. He's a mighty fine little cowpuncher. The best pal a fellow ever had. Well, we won't borrow trouble. He hasn't proposed yet. Though I'm pretty sure he's going to. Uh, well, I guess I'd better be going, miss. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Where are you going? 
Oh, I've got to go to town, sis, uh, to see a man about the hay. Brian, are you lying to me? Of course not. Oh, I know, you think maybe I'm going to that saloon. But I'm not. Then you won't be gone long. No. I ought to be back in half an hour. Well, I, I hope your deal works out all right. I figure it will. Bye. Howdy, son. Hi, Sheriff. We aim to keep you company for a little spell tonight. Uh, you can go right on working on your books, same as usual. But don't do anything else, because we're going to keep our eyes peeled and our guns cocked. Why? Well, what's the matter? We don't just know right now. We're going to hang around till we find out. Oh. Let's try that closet back there, Ramrod. We can keep a pretty good eye on things from back there. And we're going to keep it partly open so we can watch you, too. But don't do anything you shouldn't do. Ain't about time you got busy with them books? Why, this is an outrage. I never heard of such carryings on. We're not taking advice. We're giving it. The advice is get busy on the books. Go on, get busy with them. Like I told you. Don't turn around here anymore. Wait a minute, Mark. Jim, you stay here and keep guard. All right, Mace. Couldn't I do that for you, Mace? No. You come along with the rest of us. But I... Come on! to stand around here and stop any stray bullets. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, kid. Let's get on our horses. We're getting away from the phone. Going too fast for me. I didn't get you to the kid. I guess so. Are you hurt bad? It's my legs. They give out on me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, kid. Take it easy. Put your arm over there. I'll get you out of here. Come on. Take it easy now. What is it? What happened? Don't let him get me, sis. Don't let him get me. But you're hurt, Bob. What happened? I didn't want to do it, sis. They made me. That's it, Papa. How's that taste? Pretty good? Huh? Doc. Will you ask Miss Wilson to come look after me? Half a rod shouldn't get all the breaks. Look, kid, I'll go after her right away. I'll bring her right back. Don't you worry about it. You're going to be all right. There. 
Does it hurt much? It's all right, sis. Quick, Bud. You've got to hide. I'll find Ramsey. He'll help me. All right, hurry. Howdy, miss. Good evening. Won't you come in? Ratnod's been shot and he's asking for you. Shot? Yes, ma'am. Somebody tried to rob the bank and we had a gun battle. Oh. Do, do you know who they were? Well, not for certain, no. You will come, won't you? Why, why yes, of course. Right away. Oh, um, we better hurry. Well, uh... You need your wrap. I'll fetch it for no, you. No, really, I don't want it. It's right chilly out. Well, I, I'd much rather go without it. We better hurry. Hello, boys. Howdy. Look after the horses. Come on, boy. Let's go inside. Come on, we'll go in the other room and talk there. Sit down there, kid. Now, what's the matter? I tell you, I can't stand it any longer. Ah, pull yourself together, kid. Maybe I can get you across the border to a doctor tonight. It's no use. They're bound to get me. Not if you listen to me. I'd sooner give myself up. You want him to put a noose around your neck, do you? But I didn't kill anybody. Honest. I didn't even draw my gun. That don't make a bit of difference. One of the sheriffs got plugged. If he dies, they'll hang your whole outfit. No, but I didn't shoot, I tell you. I didn't shoot. I'll tell him. I'll go. I'll tell him what happened. I'll... They're not going any place. They're going to stay right there and do as I tell you. Well, Ramsey. Hello, Miss. Hey, did you find out anything? The kid didn't squeal. How do you know? Because I've got him in there. I've been talking to him. But I'm afraid if they get hold of him, he'll spill everything. Well, he won't when I get through with him. Well, wait a minute. Maybe we hadn't ought to be in such a big hurry. I ain't gonna let that kid put no rope around my neck. He can't get far in his condition. Come on. Hey, fellas. Let's go over here. Maybe he went this way. Does that feel better? Oh, yes, ma'am. You know, miss, it was the first time I ever had a woman care for me like this since my ma died. There, now, you will be all right. And when I was first off my feed, she used to raise my head and fix my pillow just like you're doing. And... And then she'd touch her lips to my cheeks. And somehow I'd feel heaps better right off. Good. 
What's the matter, Rod? Ramrod ain't moving out on me, is he? No. He's moving him for a little bit. It's another room. Give you some rest. Oh, I'm all right, Rod. Why don't he come to see me? Ain't sore about something, is he? No, of course he's not sore about anything. Just busy with his sheriff and that's all. He's not mad. What makes you think that? Rod, something's happened to him. No, you just imagine. I know something's happened to him, Rod. No, what are you getting all excited about? Rod, you're a, a lion to me. They got him. They got him. He's dead. He's dead. There, kid. Here, don't take it so hard. Oh, why didn't you tell oh, me? Lie down. told me, Rod. Well, I don't care what you think. I'm going to make it my special business to eliminate what's left of that sheriff and outfit here and now. Oh, but you can't go in town and just start shooting. You think I can't? Wait a minute. I've got a better idea. What? We'll get the sheriff through the kid's sister. How are you going to do that? Well... I'll tell her that she must get Sheriff out of the way while I sneak her brother across the border. Yeah? Yes. I'll have her tell the Sheriff that she's taken him to her kid brother, who's going to confess all he knows about the bank holdup. Instead of that, she brings him here. Then it's up to you to get rid of him. You think you'll do that? Why, certainly. She'll do anything to save that brother of hers. Well... I'll take care of my end of it. Good. Come on. Lee. Here, try that, miss. That better? That's fine, Ken. Gee, miss, the last thing I would have thought of when I come riding in this steep gulch was that I'd be arresting your brother. But he isn't guilty of anything, unless of maybe going along with the others. I'm sure hoping that's true. Oh, it is true. That's why I'm taking you to him, so he can tell you the truth about everything. Oh, baby. Oh, oh. I know it's mighty tough on you, miss. And I sure appreciate what you're doing. Well, shall we go? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Everything all right? Yeah. That the place, miss? Why, yes. Oh, boy, who? Who? And who? Who, boy? You can all right, miss. Where is he, miss? I don't see anybody. Why, well, maybe he's in there. Maybe there's another room back there. Yes, I'll, I'll take a look. Oh! Oh, goodness! I, I didn't know! What is it? 
business. Well, yes, I didn't know. What? Why, he told me to, to get you out of way so he could take Bud across the board. Who told you to do this? Mr. Ramsey. Oh, Ramsey. I know how you feel. I'd have probably done the same thing for my partners. Oh, I know. But but you can't. It's your death. You can't go out there. You stay inside. Don't run out and follow me now, please. Oh, please don't go. Fellas, get out of here. I'll go see if the job is finished. I'll meet you in town. Right. <laughs> oh, so it's you, huh? You dirty... You shouldn't have done it, kid. It was like committing suicide. What did you do it for? Oh, I thought I could make him think it was you. Oh, besides, I'm no good to anyone anyway. Oh, sure you are. You got a lot to live for. What's the matter? Where's the sheriff? Well, they've, they've killed him. What? Well, how did they find out you was bringing him here? Why, I thought maybe you did. Why, no. I just dropped by to let you know that I got Bud safely across the border. Oh, did you really? Yes, indeed. Now, here you are. Oh, are you all right? He's going to be all right, miss. did it, Rod. He and Mace planted together. That's a lie. No, it isn't. I heard them. I was hiding in the closet. They planned to kill you and myself. I didn't. I tell you, I didn't. Listen, say that to the court. You'll need it. Now, take it easy. You're right where you are.
He's not hurt bad, miss. Be good as ever in a few days. Look here, bud. I think you've rendered this state a right smart service. I think any judge is going to consider the account about balanced. Do you? Do you mean he... I don't think anybody's going to make it very hard on him. Oh. What you done worked out mighty fine, too, Miss Dale. I guess... I guess from now on, sheriffing around here is going to be right pleasant. Oh.